What do we got here? I can tell you exactly what we got here. We have got Snow Crows versus No Hesitation on Wing 3. The last Wing 3 did not go so well for HT. Let's see if they can fare any better against Snow Crows. Yeah, the last, uh, the last uh, Wing 3 uh, stronghold that we saw from No Hesitation, it was very slipshod. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, or fortunately for uh, No Hesitation, Harmonize uh, were struggling a lot more than they were. We have seen, though, that Snow Crows uh, have pulled through this, this entire wing without much uh, or many hiccups, except for their, their wipe on, <laughs> on the Escort as well. Uh, they are doing a, a, a bit more of a... Uh, uh, a higher, higher risk, uh, high reward uh, kind of situation. They have six people for the escort compared to uh, No Hesitation, who are once again running seven, uh, seven people for the escort. Which means that Snow Crows for KC will have eight men uh, if they pull this through without wiping. Uh, we did see though that No Hesitation they did wipe on KC uh, last time. Hopefully they are warmed up at this point and they won't be doing that again. So yeah. I, I, I certainly don't think they want a, a repeat performance of what happened on that previous one. But maybe that, you know, as you say, it's just a warm up. It is just a warm up. That's all this is. And we're about to get started any second now. I'm just going to count them down. And then they will begin their siege on the keep. I can't read the French on, on Goku's uh, armor, but he is running <laughs> a Kondi warrior. <laughs> that much I can tell. <laughs> I mean, remember that's uh, you know, an, an excellent choice. I'm a big fan of Kondi warrior. And the guilds will be starting very soon. And, wow, look at that reaction time. So, oh, we, yeah, something kind of weird happened there. But good reaction times from both teams. They're not going to waste any time in getting to work here. Bear in mind, guys, I... the um, the winner of this Wing 3 will go on to the grand final to face Quantify. So maybe, <clears throat> if no hesitation, uh, cocks up on KC as they did uh, last time, then SC will get their, uh, their rematch against QT. Oh, yes. That certainly could well happen. Bear in mind, guys, uh, there's a lot on the line here. This is, well, this is basically a fight to get a minimum of second. The loser will finish in third place, and they will get a good chunk of gold from the 10,000 gold prize pool. But when you get up to that second place, that's where you start getting gems. It is 800 gems for the second place, and 2,000 for first, and of course, a much larger share of all all that juicy gold so there's a, there's a lot of a lot of swag on the line here for these teams here they will be able to purchase a lot of legendaries hopefully or just one or yeah. not even one no not even one <laughs> <laughs> well uh, as i understand it though not these guilds are not particularly uh, in it for that, uh, for the gold, because they're already either no. rich or they just want to bully people and get easy glory and bragging. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Just play. Do just, just play, stream, please. Okay, okay, it recovered, it recovered, it recovered. We good, we good, we good. We good, we good, we good. Both, uh, both squads are moving, moving through the escort quite smoothly. Uh... <clears throat> even even SC SC is a little bit behind uh, no hesitation at this point just a few seconds they are basically neck and neck on this even though they are six people uh, for the escort here I still believe that they are quite capable of keeping up they most of the mobs in this uh, this entire escort are just regular mobs and they go down very easily so uh, any any more than those six people is just for the safety and not so much for the actual DPS requirement. Absolutely. Let's see if SC will not will wipe again though, because maybe that, that, that if a, they had a seventh, the they wouldn't question. have wiped. Maybe, maybe. But again, like we said, 
is very, very high risk to go go with uh, one less uh, person for this escort. But there is so much reward in having that extra person, that extra player on KC. Like Absolutely. We saw with bo Absolutely. Both teams, both No Hesitation and Harmonize, they both struggled. They both wiped on KC. It is a tough fight. It definitely is. Absolutely. And that safety net could potentially pay off here. However, I feel like HT are not going to make the same mistakes again. I'm really confident in these guys that they can put up a great fight or maybe even, you know, put an end to Snowcrows. It definitely could happen here, I think. Ooh, an end. Okay. Put an end to them. Of no, I have faith in HT. They are making very solid progress. Although, even with... Uh, their additional player, they haven't uh, really made uh, up a lot of ground on their opponents here. They're in, it's fairly even, I would say. Very much so. Oh, we have a dead player for no hesitation. Oh! That means <sighs> both teams are now at six, uh, six people. That's it a really big disaster. Pay out to have that extra person. Oh, that sucks. That and that, it's the streamer yeah. as well. What a great view of the action we're gonna be exactly. getting. Exactly, we're getting a lot the rest more of this that, uh, role playing as a carpet uh, yeah. situation right here. So let's see. Let's take a look at what's going on for Snowcrows. That we, oh, that's so unfortunate for HT. It definitely is. Like, like we, like we said at the very, very start of this, uh, this entire uh, um, stream or tournament, or almost at the very start. This event is definitely the hardest <laughs> event throughout the entire stronghold. It Absolutely, is, it, it has grueling, caused the most trouble. Is punishing, <laughs> yeah, is is horrible to deal with. It really is a, a true terror here, and if HT are able just to keep a clear head, they will be able to make it through this. But if they can't, if they get a little bit rustled, if their jimmies are rustled, uh -huh. there could be problems. But so far, I can't really see anything on they that stream, doing, but it looks like they're okay right now. They're doing pretty well. They're <laughs> they're keeping the, uh, as far as I can see on their minimap at least, they are managing pretty well. Um, they should have a portal going off for the last tower, uh, or not the last tower, the second to last tower in just uh, a little bit. Uh, they're managing Glenna just fine. They're rounding the same corner as uh, SC are on right now. Uh, so it seems that SC has pulled just a little bit ahead now. That is to be expected. They did lose one of their DPS players. That is quite uh, an impediment for uh, HT. As they will have a bit more trouble chewing through those ads and capping those towers. And eventually get it killing the boss itself when they get there. Yeah, most definitely. Whereas SC, I believe, will still have a more balanced composition. Yeah, they have they have anticipated for for the six man uh, comp. Whereas no hesitation, they just lost a, a person, which is a horrible situation to be in at any any given time. But especially when you are really counting on on that seventh man to pull through. Oh, well, SC will be. Uh, going up to cap that last tower just momentarily, and then they will begin fighting the boss. And then we'll go on to keep Construct if they do not die. But it's looking very unlikely. Fear me, really coming into play there. Wow, great moves by Goku there. Just uh, that's a very, very effective method uh, for getting it done efficiently. If especially with you know if there's any kind of blind or ads being uncooperative, very, yeah. very good there. They're already on to McLeod. Uh Whereas I believe there is still one more tower to capture left for HT, if I can see that right. They'll be onto that very shortly, though, I'd imagine. Yeah, they, they should. Yeah, it's done. Uh, McLeod, McLeod is uh, is up now for uh, for HT as well. Um, well, they aren't losing too I much then. I can't really see what they're doing. Uh, they're right at the end. <laughs> Thank you for moving the minimap. Thank you. We can see what's actually happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On point, uh, even in yeah. death, he's still on point. <laughs> in this phase, it's really just about uh, getting McLeod down as fast as possible, but managing those uh, rushing wargs that come towards, uh, or the rush towards uh, Glenna. As long as you can keep those in check and, and out of the way, you are pretty, pretty set. There is not much of a DP DPS requirement uh, as such. It seems that uh, 
And no hesitation now has McLeod down to 50%. Uh, and I believe he's probably split into his, uh, his hallucinations right at this point because his bar is not moving at all. So we, so we that means they are neck and neck, really. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Both teams have it at 50%. They are at the exact same point, six people. But SC will have the advantage going into KC mm. uh, in just a moment. They will have that extra person, uh, that extra player to get that extra DPS in. Um, and Absolutely. get, uh, get KC more, uh, more easily cleared. Yeah, Def definitely credit. A lot of credit though to HT for not just completely panicking and flailing around. They're managing this event a lot more this time, even when things don't go to plan. There we have SC. Goku is of course going to be swapping to power. So he just insta-suicides there just to get the job done a little bit quicker. Save those extra few seconds. Uh, Cause obviously you're going to want to be hundred blazing that guy. You want it because bear in mind guys, the number you see on your screen is your DPS. So if Goku gets up to that kind of 200 100k, 300k, 100 blades. That's actually 300k DPS. That's how it works. Here we go. Literal 300k. Literal, L literal DPS. Yeah, literal, literal DPS. Literal raiding el elitism. <laughs> but that is what this is. This is actually raiding elitism. Oh, definitely. Oh, I believe he's even it's going the for the Sigil of Air variant. Extreme optimization there just to get that, just to squeeze that little bit of extra single target damage out there with the uh, Fury instead of the Might Signet. I believe that will allow him to uh, get another uh, F1 in. But, I mean, if it ever goes to that. And there we go. Well, HT, they're already done. Is, they're moving on. Is as that well. a dance book down? For they're trying to RP with the dance in, in uh, at KC. Uh, very risky RPing, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but maybe it'll pay off. <laughs> I believe due to the delay, I think Snow Crows are a little bit ahead right now. It uh, seems so. And they are going to get into this fight earlier, which is very good for them, as they will have an additional player as well. But it won't, as such, massively increase the overall speed of Keep Construct, provided there are no mistakes from... Uh, no hesitation, right? Because at the end of the day, you do just have to burn him down. There will be some time lost, of course, but there's, there there's... may, yeah, there won't be a huge difference if everything goes to plan for HT. Uh, the the best thing that uh, SC has right now is just the safety. Really, mm. there's a lot more safety in having eight people than having the seven. You are able to lose that uh, uh, that uh, one person and still pull through with the DPS numbers, um, which. No hesitation, do not have that leeway at this point. And there we go. It's like a successful phase for SC so far. Able to start pushing those orbs pretty effectively. They've got their thief doing it, in fact. That's an interesting choice. Those daggers getting to good use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I believe it... fast auto attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just uh, swapping of course, because you are pistol, revealed pistol. on this fight. Oh, he's on, he's on staff now. So Unload. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Unload to move the orbs. He, he's got the the dagger, dagger just for that exact eventuality. I'd imagine really nice, uh, really cool uh, usage there by uh, SC, presumably, so they can keep their druid around to heal the group up and maintain as much health as possible, because the passive damage, if you have your druid doing that, especially if it's the soul druid, you can be taking a lot of damage from the passive damage and just the mobs in general, and as a result of them using the thief to do it and having the druid in the, in the group, they're much better off in terms of how much health they have left when they're going into this phase. Whereas HT, pushing it around, they'll be about to kill the boss, do some damage. I, I I made a mistake, and I, I would like to point this out. Someone in, in, in Twitch chat actually called this. That book that they put down, that was a thesis of strength. It is something that we have not seen much of in uh, in play in throughout the uh, entirety of this uh, tournament. The thesis of strength is an e extremely powerful, yet very, very expensive uh, food to uh, to use for, or utility food to use for, uh, for teams. Uh, as a whole it is very effective and i'm very surprised that we've only first seen one in use at this point uh even though we uh we've really seen some heavy optimization on on sc's fronts especially goku micromanaging his food uh all the time constantly switching uh i'm very surprised that we haven't seen much more of that um except for goku not, the other players aren't elitist enough. What can I say? They aren't elitist enough yeah. at this point. 
I mean, the, the, it's extremely toxic to use a food like that, especially seeing as it relies on you having, well, it's like another scholar buff in a sense, right? You get an extra um, 200 power while you're above 90%. I mean, that is, in, yeah. well, it, even on its own, that's very toxic and borderline delusional, uh, of course. <laughs> but that is, I would expect nothing less. And then we have the micromanagement of the banners back where they will be useful for SC while they push these orbs around. And they're just getting those ads down and he is back and they will just finish off that spirit in the middle and try and burn him down to 33% this will obviously not be a problem for SC especially with those eight players they have yeah SC is just a little ways ahead of uh, of no hesitation no hesitation is pulling into the second DPS now right as SC is finishing their second DPS situation uh, or face um, they are very close, definitely, but SC seem to be pulling out some very, very high DPS numbers, and they are really getting that phase over with very, very quickly. Absolutely. But here we go. SC about to begin the final stretch, if you will. Just gotta collect up a few more of these orbs and they will be good to go. Boom! There it is. Mm -hmm. It's going to start going crazy, getting that extra damage here at the start. Oh, Goku actually getting a, bit, a, bit, a little getting bit in the a, circle a there. Yeah, there. Taking, yeah, taking a bit of pressure there. Too close. Yeah, yeah, just a How little bit. Max Melee, mate? Come on. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice flame. Uh, but let's see, what are they going to get? If they get the spirits, they will be really, really happy here. Uh, but if they get the circles, it is still something they can deal with. I'm sure they have planned for this eventuality. And it is the circle, so they will very likely just uh, finish off that spirit and then spread out and try not to kill each other is what they are going to do. And there we go. They will just break him, and if they can go into this, uh, this split phase with no one down, they'll be in a great spot to finish off Keep Construct. Yep. There it is. And there they have the orb is spawning. It's going to push it around, get a few connections. Whereas HT are certainly a little bit behind right now. Kudos to HT though for for not like their warm up with uh, Harmonize really paid through uh, paid up for them. Uh, they have not been messing up at all. They are really cool headed and just minding the fight, really focusing. Absolutely, they've really sharpened up. Uh, what they, they were uh, kind of just a little bit triggered on that previous run. Everything was just <laughs> turning into a massive clown fiesta, and it does look like SC are just gonna kill Casey. Oh yep. wow, they actually it's finishing right now. Yeah, they actually did not have enough DPS. That's quite interesting. Oh, they have one percent. Yeah. 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 They are just that they uh, maybe were a little bit out of position, so they missed a few seconds of that burn phase. Yeah. Hesitating a little bit to go into the to the fight, to the Twisted Castle, uh, getting everyone ready and, and up to snuff. Yep. And We're it, probably going to see another attempt of some uh, or attempt to uh, to really skip a lot of the grueling uh, parts of this jumping puzzle uh, labyrinth, whatever we'll call it. And no hesitation to have finished KC as well. They are moving into the Twistle Castle. And we saw from just before that they had some very, very clever uh, and effective team play going on. They were very through, very thorough and quick to get through the entire castle. Yeah, perhaps they can gain some time back here because that is a really great skip. And I imagine they'll be doing the exact same thing. Yep, we see the dagger being equipped there uh, by the Streamerino. Uh-huh. And Let's I imagine it doesn't be the miss same that thing. one corner. Yeah, that would be pretty unfortunate. But SC are actually already towards the end, yeah. but there isn't and a huge amount in it right now. I would probably say mm, about 30 seconds even. Mm -hmm. uh, and one kind of bit, a little bit of clowning can completely turn this around completely. And there we go, the skip was succeeded. He said he's just going to get teleported there, but they are getting ready to move on to Zera, RSC. 
as the swap's going by Goku. And he's actually uh, changing his skins while playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day. <laughs> micromanaging the, the... Really nice the micro there. there. You need, uh, you need yeah. that helmet. You really need that the, the fashion was helmet. on or, uh, point by Goku. It is very important. Yeah. Getting that last uh, Viper's ring switched out for Berserker, so he is... SC on point now. Sorry the other way around but you get it yeah they are now going into the uh seraphite and approaching the towers what we're going to be seeing here from both teams are 10 men in both uh both uh, attempts for sarah of course that is uh, the strategy you are going to be wanting to go for here let's see are any of them gonna die that's what this is going to come down to yep it does seem that SC does have a very good head start on, on the Seraphite. So if they wipe, uh, no hesitation, we'll easily catch up with them. Uh, but till then, uh, we don't really know. It seems that Goku missed a ring, and he is in fact still using a Viper ring. Oh, uh, oh a Berserker ring rather, not a Viper one. Uh, that could so make the difference. It could. If they wipe at 1%, they know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> so there That's we go. That uh, that uh, equipment swap or that uh, the helmet, the stupid helmet that he put on. Yeah, he he wasted that time and was unable to swap yeah, <laughs> to swap was, the ring out. He was out. too focused on the fashion wars. We do all we all know that that is the main focus of this game, though. Oh, of so course. I do. Absolutely. I do fully understand why he went for. Uh, he, he focused all his attention on switching his wardrobe skin, um, but yeah, that that did cost him. Precious stats from his ring. <laughs> oh, he didn't know. He changed it back, apparently. Wow, Twitch chat, such a reliable source. You goddamn <laughs> clowns. So, he is fully optimal here. He doesn't have the BM ring. Maybe he should have left it on, just, just for disrespect, you know? I'm pretty sure I saw him switch the entire thing out, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Well, never mind. Obviously, easily succeeding the DPS check there is SC, and they will be shortly going on to the gliding challenge. Okay. Statistically, it has a very high probability of uh, of killing players. Just it, yeah, it really does. It really does. It is a challenge. Those statistics they really pull through sometimes. But currently, SC with a pretty sizable lead right now, and that may uh, well. I mean, even if it even if they lose a little bit, they have a bit of time to play with here. I think. I'd say what we're 30, 45 seconds of of uh, advantage here for Snowcrows. They are very much ahead, yeah. Well, let's see, will they end up dying? Zara is a bit of a, a boss where it can can get a little bit out of control. We have seen that a few times. <laughs> Quite a few. Yeah. So it's entirely possible it might get a little bit out of hand. But we're about to see if it will. As they are moving back, they're on the last Bloodstone, mini Bloodstone shard. Just got to pick that off real quick. And this is something that um, they seem to have really, really locked down. So many of their players are ranged. In fact, even their thief has pistol, pistol. So oh. they're oh, getting a little, bit, little is, bit early yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> caught up with the, oh, the, the ribbons and they were hovering in the air to try and not die there. But that is a very, very, mm, very speedy. And very speedy there. Uh, but yeah, they, they don't have any melee, only any pure melee players, so there is no eventuality where they could get a very, very unfortunate second teleport, like we saw happen to HT in the previous uh, round. And SC is now going in for the, for the last Ooh. DPS phase here. Uh, oh. well, HT is right on their heels, though. They are dealing with the, the Bloodstone Shards in, on the towers as well. Uh, definitely, uh, there is possibility for a comeback. The most, the most likely thing that uh, that might uh, happen for SC right now, uh, which might or not the most likely, but the thing that No Hesitation is probably hoping for right now uh, is that the puzzles will uh, completely distort or uh, mess up the rotation for for SC. Though I don't believe it will. I, I do believe that they are very very capable of managing the situation, and we see that right now they are dealing with the puzzle very quickly and efficiently. 
while everyone on the platform stays fine and healthy. Absolutely. I mean, I believe that's uh, everyone has Scholar right now as well. So, uh, uh, great. Oh, is. is anyone going to get caught in the bad side? No, they are not. Very close, though, actually. A little uh, bit unfortunate with regard. Oh, Goku they are getting orbed. <laughs> oh, they're almost ready for another puzzle, even though they just came yeah, back. That the, is some the very, damage very is heavy, so heavy strong. Damage that you very, see. very strong damage. This is where things can get a little bit dangerous, though. As the teleport happens, at the same time as the shards respawning, if anything is going to go wrong, it will be now. They do send their other druid back uh, to make sure that it uh, stays safe, and that means they have just pure DPS. I think they should be able to burn it, or they do actually go for the rotation oh. there. Really close, but they do go for the rotation. SC really DPS. wants that uh, that QT re, uh, rematch. They are going oh, for they it want it. everything right now. Their they damage is their brutal. Final. Yeah, and I would say this is going to be an SC win here. They are just melting Zera down right now. They have no trouble whatsoever. No hey. hesitation. To their credit, though, they are right behind. They are 25% behind, but it is not going to be enough because SC is pulling through right now, and Zera is going to die right there and she is dead nice one gg super efficient run from sc and stop the timer so to speak that was a 23 and a half minute kill from sc on wing three that is pretty pretty damn cool it really is it really is and as a result of that we will have the rematch it is what? going to be Quantify versus Snow Crows in the grand final, a best of three of all the Raid Wings. Hype is real, guys. Yeah, it's real. It really is. It really is. We will. Let's see. Will HT be able to kill the boss? We see, we see Goku, Goku actually fly now. hacking. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Goku fly hacking out. Fly hacking out of the map. Well, time to ban. Ban incoming. Ban. Let's go. With nine players for the last. Yeah, fly hack. There it is. Yeah.